Vampires. These creatures of the night have been a staple in literature and pop culture for centuries, and with each iteration they've always had some key characteristics. Immortality, feeding off blood, mind control, and in some cases, sparkle in the light. Glitter? Yes, get me some glitter. Whatever for, Master. I'm going to sprinkle it on my face and on my body, like twilight. But let's be real. The powers and abilities of these undead are endless, yet somehow this game has captured the essence of what it means to be a doctor? No. I'm a surgeon. But before we dive in, major spoilers ahead. Vam- Vampire? Vam- Vampire? Vam- Vam- Vampire. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, do you speak English? No, I don't. Sorry. Vampire. This is your doing. This is an action role-playing game. You play as Jonathan Reed, back from the dead, trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on? uncovering vampire powers, working at a hospital, my staff at Pembroke Hospital, as a physician, fighting things in the sewer, putting a nurse in her place while doing a surgery, don't question me, nurse. I need a drain, now. Creeping on people, You make me sick, you juicy, warm treat. Killing your sister twice, falling in love, solving the source of an illness. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. And becoming a champion. I am the land. You are our champion. But despite all he does, the only thing that I took from this game is what Jonathan Reed is. And you guessed it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm not sure who thought of this, but the only upside of being a doctor is saying you are a doctor. And in this game, you generally help make people better because they are your food source. So a mechanic in the game is if a citizen is sick and you feast on them, you won't get the maximum experience they can provide because being sick makes you have bad blood. It's a subtle way of putting a farm simulator as a side game. But hey, you get this nice interface telling you the health of everyone you can harvest from. Even other vampires has this crazy power. Confirmed if you convert Dr. Swansea into a vampire. Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him. So the next time any doctor is quick to diagnose exactly what you have, they may just be a vampire. I am a surgeon. First thing to address is the why in the title of the game. At certain points in a conversation, there are dialogue options that unlock certain responses. Kind of like some other game that I know of. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. Specters are above the law. We clear? Crystal. But other than experience points, there's no impact to the game's story at all, which is very disappointing. I won't allow this to happen. The combat system is simple, but average. Enemies have a health bar and a stun bar, and when their stun bar reaches zero, you can bite them to get blood, which fuels the use of your skills. Rinse and repeat. But despite the diverse enemies and different weapons to choose from, it doesn't add complexity as you progress. And there are certain abilities that can carry you throughout the game, so combat can get stale very quickly. I rate this game 1 Jonathan Reed. Vampire had the potential of being a great game, but somehow lacks complexity and depth, and I felt that it was trying to do a lot of things but ended up being average. I would say to give it a go at least once, but it sadly doesn't have any replayability as combat and story progression is very linear and gets boring very quickly. As for rating the trophy achievements, I rate it a baby vampire. Firstly, there are no difficulty trophies, so you don't need to play this game on the hardest mode. The missable trophies is linked to a certain collectible, which is required to solve a puzzle to get the best weapon in the game. So that is my experience playing Vampire. Have you played this game? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, internet. Until next time.